Salutations viewers, it's Sir Book Writer here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Sun. Last episode, we journeyed our way through the vast Pony Canyon, which took me about an hour, but took the viewing approximately 15 minutes. I don't know, I haven't edited the episode yet. So, when we left off, we're right outside of the Dragon Trial. So, with a punch ski in the front, let's go in. Oh, hey, Lily. Ha! Ha! Sorry, not very good at running. Oh, Phew. It looks like we're nearly to the altar now, aren't we, Quilla? Let me take care of... Oh, I just healed up my team. Oh, well, thanks, Lily. When your Pokemon are full of energy, then a trainer can go anywhere in the world. Doesn't it seem that way? Yep. Now then. There's a trial gate in Vast Pony Canyon, too. This is going to be intense. All right, let's go in. Faint letters can just barely be made out, carved into the ancient stone monument. Ahead lies a sacred ground of trials. None who do not take part in its trials will be allowed to walk upon this earth. Those lacking the courage to defeat the totem guarding this land will be denied entry. But those who believe in their Pokemon and walk beside them shall gain great power. There's no captain to be found, but it seems like I stand at the edge of the trial site. I am ready to challenge this trial. The second to last trial. <laughs> Repel. <laughs> Alright. Feel a piercing gaze that seems to cut the right through me, from, but from where? I'm assuming about right here. Hello, Jang Mao. Alright. Jang Mao appears, and we've got Haparski out in front. If I had the Icy and Z, I would definitely use it here, but unfortunately I do not. So I will just use a standard ice hammer. Well, that was easy. Really? You need care for that, Hapunchski? Really? I feel an even- you feel an even fiercer gaze than before, huh? I- Rotom, I just started the episode. What are you talking about? Ooh, a hard scale. Wow. That's lucky. And now there is a TM here. TM2 Dragon Claw. Nice. Ooh, I could teach that. I could probably teach that to your boy. No, no, not Pokemon. I wanted to go to the... What's its face? Come on. The bag... The baggy bag tab. Oh, you... Oh, why can Mariah learn it? Mariah doesn't even have claws. Like... Ya boy's the only one out of my team that actually has claws. Mariah has, like, fingers. Anyways, moving onward. Next up, Hakamo'o. Hello. It just glides slowly towards me. Alright. Now, I don't remember if fighting resists ice or not. But, I'm about to find out right here. Ice Hammer. Oh, you started out with an Autotomize. That's always nice. Too bad. You're gonna die. Well, that was easy. And Hapachki needs more care. Yay! If you're the fiercest pair of eyes imaginable drilling into me relentlessly. Oh boy. Alright. And now, as we approach the Z crystal pedestal thing. And this Dragonium Z is another crystal I have to design. Yay. Alright. There's the encounter music. I was waiting for it. Sound. That's an interesting cry. Totem Como. I've been expecting you. Our flared life. It's oh, all its stats are up. Oh boy. Okay, level 49. All right. That's not too bad. Start out with an ice hammer. See how far that gets me. Drain pump. Okay. Never mind, Hapunchki's dead. 
Jeez. Okay, so it is Drain Punch. That's good to know. Okay, I wonder if I can get a Toxic off with Mariah. Because if we do, that's a GG. Because it can have Soundproof or Bulletproof. Or one other thing as its hidden as its ability. Noivern? You called a Noivern? Okay. Toxic the Como. And just pray Mariah is faster. Nope, Como is faster. And Mariah's gonna die. Never mind. I'm surprised it survived. And Noivern read at us. Okay, I'm glad it didn't kill Mariah. Cause now GG. In about five turns, five, six, maybe seven turns, the Como will die. All right. You know what, Mariah? Let, let's add to it a little bit, see if we can survive. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot, you know? Dragon Claw. Okay, nope. And Northern's gonna... Oh, 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 that's clever. That's... Okay, also that confirms it has Soundproof as its ability and not... What's its face? The, the other one. Bulletproof. Which means I can use stuff such as Shadow Ball on it. Okay, let's do the first impression. Just gonna try and chip away at its health here. Because inevitably it will die to that poison. Okay. Thunder... You have Thunder Punch? How did that not do half? Okay. I was gonna say... If you boys emergency exit, oh, well, okay then, goodbye. Jeez. Okay. It's down to almost half. I've got three left. We'll save Chloe for the Noivern. I'll have Bush go out now. Do I have an X defense of some sort? Because I get the feeling Noivern might re at me. Uh, X special defense. Mm. Uh, you, you know what? It's worth it. There we go. Get a little special defense boost there. Dragon Claw. Alright, good. That did less than half. Huh. I'm glad I had an X special defense because... Alright, that would have done a little bit more. By a little bit more, I mean double that. Kamo is hurt by poison. I'm gonna heal up Bush here. Where's the item things? There we go. I am running out of hyper potions. Jeez. Alright. Health goes back up. Thrilled to bits, whatever that sentence means. Dragon Claw me again. My defense is now at three stages up. You have Dragon Pulse. You know, honestly, I'm more threatened by this Noivern than I am by the Como O. As speaking of the Como O, it's down now. No, don't go into bag. Go into fight, and let's 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 just use has he a heavy slam on it. Oh, you're gonna re at me? That's fine. Just take my defense down two stages. Have it back down at one, I think. In the meantime, I do what? Okay, about half your health. Good. And one more should do it. And boom burst. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Bush is amazing for these totems. Honestly. Oh, one HP, really? Alright. Give it the double kick. Boombers, please don't crit me. And if you do, if you do, we've got I've got Chloe, but meh. All right, well, uh, that was easy. Just had to toxic it, and it was nice. All right, goodbye. Can't wait to fight you on Howe's team. And Bush grows to level forty-seven. Awesome. Wants to learn Earthquake. Ooh, boy. 
The earthquake is 100 power, physical, 100 accuracy, and hits everything on the field. It's just like 5% better than high horsepower in every way. And we beat the totem. And I'm surprised none of my Pokemon need care, although I probably need to revive them. Tomoho hid itself somewhere in the deepest parts of the valley. Uh, Alright. And yet another Z Crystal I have to design. Oh boy! Trial complete in only 11 minutes. This, this is I think this is actually the fastest trial so far. Alright, Lily, please come and heal my team. The Dragonium Z is mine. Alright, and let's move on. Now we're at the Altar of the Sun. Right, there's Lily and Hapu. Quirlin! Please heal my team. Our history tells us that the Vast Pony Canyon trial was the first trial ever to be held. You did a fine job clearing it, just as expected, as expected Quirlin. You cleared your seventh trial on Alola's Island Challenge. That's wonderful. You've put yourself beyond your limits and become a great trainer, haven't you? Never could have done it without you, Lycanroc. Oh, that's right, because Chloe is the unfainted member in the front of my party. Look at the two of you. I think this might just work out. No, I am quite sure of it. Alright. Nay. Am I going to fight you now? The sun flute and the moon flute. If we both, if we sound both together. Let's go, Quirlin. Okay, so I don't fight Hapu yet. Alright. Up the stairs we go. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm getting chills. I'm getting serious chills right now. Alright, here we go. I can feel the strong power of the sun. Nebi. Before I can return you back to your original form, I've got to go find my mother. I have to tell her. I have to tell her how I feel, and then we'll find a way to stand against the Grozma together. Alright. The moon flute. Feels like it was made to fit my hand. I think I can play it. Your random flute lessons that you've had. Alright. Quirlin, you should stand over there. Alright, that I will do once I am able to move my way over there. Alright. There we go. Will you blow the sun flute? Yes. The dramatic music stops. And here we go. All right. So is Nebby going to evolve right here? No, of course it is. Alright. Well, that's pretty cool. And the thing fires a beam out of it. My character shows some facial expression. Cosmone takes Lily's bag and there we go rare candy was used Cosmo grew to level 53 <laughs> and there it is Solgaleo That triumphant roar. Well then. Thank goodness don't ever... ...give you so much power, or let you evolve into the legendary Pokemon. La Leo! 
Not in all of my reading. Never never did I come across any hint that you would evolve into the legendary Pokemon. Lily, you should have checked Cerebi.net. Please, Solgaleo. No. Nevi, please, I need to go where my mother is. We want to protect Alola, but there's no need for her to try and step into Crow's Mall on her own. La Leona! Hmm. So what's going to happen now? So we can finally follow after Mother and... What? Guzma? Well, Mr. Guzma, but you were... Wait a minute. Oh, and there's Luzamine. Well, that can only mean... Hello, Necrozma. You, you children. Run away. That thing is a monster. I have a Galissapot. Mother! That's Necrozma. Yeah. The instant it woke, it flew into a rage and repelled everything that came near it. Hello, Edgelord. Lily, run from this place. You can't do anything. We can fight. No, it turns to Nebby. Laliona! Is this where the, the big fight takes place? What is this music? Oh. This is a cool cutscene. Whoa. Jeez. Well, okay then. Dusk main necrozma. Oh, with a bunch of ultra wormholes. What the heck? Do do just cocoon on stroll to Laguna with how? Wait, the sur disturbance. I feel. I feel a disturbance of the forest. Oh, hello, clown thing. Yippee. Oh, this one's a rare visitor. Perhaps I should leave this one. Aw, that's touching. And here comes Tapu Koko. Hmm. Did you come here as a guardian or just a battle? The other islands are must surely be facing the same threat. I'm counting on you, my comrades. Wait, was that Tapu Koko? Oh, nope, that's Hala talking. Alright. So what's going on here? Oh! There's a Buzzwool. And a Guzzlord. And I was just like, eh, I saw this yesterday. Oh, and Zerkatree. Well, that Zerkatree's gonna have a horrible time. Considering Hapu uses exclusively ground type Pokemon. Oh, do I have to fight the the, the thing of a thing here? Oh, oh, I don't even get to save. Oh, and I, I can't catch it. Alright. So I have to defeat it. Okay. Let's start out with a payback, see what's going on. Night Slash. Oh, that's not very effective on me. Haha. <laughs> Let's see. That's super effective. Alright. Sweet. If the best move you have against a punch key is Night Slash, then I think I'm set. No, never mind. You have Psycho Cut. What was it, to break a focus sash? Oh, and a punch key, you're amazing. Alright, we can get one more payback off. It's down to just barely above half health. This battle music, though, jeez. Crows may use Night Slash. 
All right. Thank you, Hapunchki. You have done well. Now then, who to send out next? Um, let's send out your, let's send out your boy. I'm not sure if it's part Steel type or not. Because if so, then that would mean Don Wig's Necrozma is Ghost Psychic, and Dusk Mane is what's its face, Steel Psychic. I know it's part Psychic type. Okay, no, it is part Steel type. Ha! Your Psycho Cut won't do all that much to me. Now. Delete your life. Oh, wait, no, you're fast. I should have used Sucker Punch. Gosh dang it. Wait. Emergency exit wasn't triggered? What? Okay. Let's try the Sucker Punch. Super effective. Okay, well, that was easy. Jeez. And your boy grew to level 47. Huh. Again, that was easy. Uh, it's losing control. A wormhole appeared under it. Well, well, goodbye. No, Nebby. Oh, poor Lily. What what is going on? What the heck is going on? Can't... The camera's not picking up anything. Well, hello, Ultra Recon Squad. Lil's light has been stolen by Necrozma. How can you steal the sun's light? That doesn't make sense. It was only a matter of time before all of Alola is wrapped in such darkness. And I really loved Lil's light. It was so warm. But what are we to do now? It seemed to me like that beast like Necrozma was also suffering somehow. It seemed to hurt. It seemed to hurt it to be without its light. You'd you'd worry. Um, oi. oi! She just irks me. We will need your help. You will be able to travel through be, travel between worlds using the legendary Pokemon's power, just as you are able to do. You dare ask for our help now? There's no time to be fighting, Dulce. Well, there is one thing I'm curious about after witnessing that battle just now. Necrozma seemed quite distracted by that bracelet you wear. The Z-Power Ring, don't you think so? You mean it wants Z-Crystals? Just give... It's true Quirlin has an awfully large number of Z-Crystals after coming so far in his island challenge. Yeah, it's true. Even more than... <laughs> Who all just focus on what... Yeah, that's true. I see, so it is the Z-Crystals, and you... You're truly able to summon Sol Solgaleo, such an able trainer. Trainer like you might ride upon our Lunala. Oh, you have Lunala. All right. All right. We call it the Ultra Warp Ride. If you want to go after Necroz, reach the White Warp Hole and go through it. Into a different... Perhaps you'll... Be... I... You're speaking gibberish to me. Do we have to try it? Okay. Um... You know, I'm just going to end the episode off here, because I get the feeling once I go on this Ultra Warp ride, the episode's going to turn out to be 40 minutes long. So I'm just going to end this off right here. Yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next episode. Sayonara!